Right, good morning. It is actually Monday morning. I'm having a bit of a reset this morning, just generally getting things done. It is a staying day today. Really planning on to make sure all my laundry's up today, especially clothing, because that's what I want to address tomorrow, being since it's Tuesday tomorrow. Um, yeah, so if I get all the laundry up today, I know in my mind I want to pull stuff out that most of it is there if that makes sense so that's why i'm what i'm doing today also i'm going through um just double checking the gifts i did pull out some stuff over the weekend that went on my 20 items um for day eight and nine um so it's just reorganizing them i've got about five crates that i keep in our wardrobe four on a shelf and one on a set of plastic drawers that keeps anything like little gifts and everything in and um, I just want to obviously um, organize it um, check what I have obviously the Christmas stuff make sure it goes on my gift list things like that um, so basically it, it is sort of starting with our bedroom but um, usually I would start with the clothes but this is just something that's happening now as I said this is sometimes what happens um, when you plan something it's other things that need getting done first um, something that's been working really well is getting rid of so many items per day and at the end of the day I empty my laundry bin my basket and I leave it near the back door now over Christmas yes the that door which goes to the lounge was actually um, blocked off because we had to move furniture to get the tree in but all the rest of the year it's a walk through you can walk right round our downstairs and so the laundry basket i live near the back door and i've let hubby know hubby knows anyway because um he's been watching sometimes when i video or um looking back on some of the videos so he knows what's going on and i sort of said to my youngest son who still lives at home about the basket and I said if there's anything you need to get rid of if it's not like recycling or general rubbish if it's just some form of items then um, put it in the basket and I can include it because it's something then I don't have to keep nagging them to sort out um, that probably will get on a bit later um, so she want to know they've got a day off or something I don't push them too much because I know they both work such long hours and uh, but just a little bit now and again um, because it can hold up um, the process a bit and also it's like yourself you have to be in the right frame of mind to do something as I said if you're not um, it doesn't always go well but set that timer for 10 minutes or your phone or whatever or even a general you know look at your clock for 10 minutes and say hang on a minute I've got 10 minutes so 10 minutes to see what I can get done and very often it will give you that kick start and if you don't want to continue at least you spent that 10 minutes and it's amazing what you can do even in those few minutes going back to the laundry basket I leave it near the back doorway they're walking constantly backwards and forwards because obviously that's the lounge dining room going into the kitchen um, going through to the back hallway and then back into the lounge so they're constantly walking backwards and forwards this way so they see the basket and although it's not much it's paying off because although I'll do this later hubby has put stuff in here which i'll share you at the end of the day and i know it's not much but my son even took an old key ring off of his keys great better than just taking off his keys and putting it down somewhere it's gone in the basket to get rid of so yes tick so that that's working out really well so sometimes it might be a good idea you know it's visual isn't it is to find a container whether it's a spare, I'm, I'm just using my main laundry basket at the moment because I'm trying to keep on top of my ironing, as I said, to get all my clothing away. Uh, but I'm using this basket and it's working out really well because um, even hobby says, oh yeah, I'll put these in the basket. So yeah, it's worked for us, so it might work for you, especially getting other family members um, to contribute and think out the box and you know be aware that you are trying to get rid of stuff so if it's visual and they pass it you know they can just um, put stuff in 
right i think that's enough gabbling as i said um so it's laundry today as i said stay in so it's laundry and gifts this morning well today it depends on how long it takes me and um as i said to, just to review my gift book as well making sure all the gifts that i've got are written in my book so hopefully you'll follow me on my day right so i've um done a couple of lots of laundry and i've folded them all up so it's easier for me to put away like um have his work clothes i have got um like a jumper i've got christmas stuff to go away which that one should actually go on that pile um underwear t-shirts and then my socks because these have all a lot of these have come off these socks have come off my era because they're christmas and they're the fluffy socks so i don't like to put these through the tumble dryer i'm sure it'd be okay but i don't so i've got my um stripy ones my red ones and those thick christmas ones there hubby's socks i said to you that they are different from my son's these are the navy ones with the white stripe and these plain ones so i know exactly whose is who and then obviously my socks i said i'm going to get all this lot put away um so that i can review tomorrow um on my wardrobes and everything and clothing if i get it all done all in one place then i know um what we've got so yeah, I've got YouTube on. I normally have YouTube if I'm sorting my laundry out or something. So as I said, back all way, got my um, basket there. And this is what happens. It's sort of organised um, mess. I'm at the moment using carry bags to organise pieces so that I don't necessarily need transport and I can get rid of certain things. Um, a lot of the charity stuff is upstairs because I'm waiting until they take the items i got stuff to go to the community center and over there i've just got um items that i want to see if a friend wants and then that pile there's like um a can opener but i'm not sure if that can be recycled or not um due to the fact it's got rubber handles so i and it's really stuck fast so i tried um getting the handles off so i don't think i can actually put that in the recycle bin so and there's a that metal owl there i think i can get away with that i am again not sure so i might just have to put those in the general rubbish that's why they're there but this is what happens and then they're in the bags if i'm going anywhere or seeing a friend i can take them with me or if someone pops in i can say oh is there anything in this bag or box that you want that way you know it's not obviously um building up that quickly although i said i've got about two boxes upstairs ready to go to the charity shop but again i can't do that until they start taking the pieces again right i'm gonna just show you a piece of um storage now we've used this for a multiple of different things whether it was camping or caravanning when we only had our two bath caravan and um, we used to have quite a big awning with a sleeping compartment and we used to use this item um to store any um packaging for like the um table and everything that used to come out because they all had canvas bags and um like the um shelving unit that used to hold the microwave because all this sort of stuff did not go in our original caravan until we upgraded to the full berth which we've got now now this is the larger of the two i've got i've got two that i got from ikea and it's one of the best investments i had i'm not sure what the price is and i'm sure you still can get them or something very similar but i want to use it to store my stuff in the dining room as it is actually going out rather than leave it all over the floor this comes out quite regularly now either during the winter months to store bedding from the caravan which i've got another place for which is under the stairs which i've actually i think believe i've shown um but this is ideal for this time of year for at least the month of january if not a bit longer when i'm doing my major sorting reviewing and organizing and decluttering so i'm going to show you um 
the setter it's so easy especially if you're limited for space and um, there's a possibility that you might not want it up all the time or if you're in rented accommodation it doesn't matter I think it's very versatile and I've used it for um, a multiple of a different um, you know things so here we go then Basically, that is it. So I'm going to just bring it a bit closer to the camera and show you. So it's a fair size. So I've actually enclosed all the um, bedding in this before, and um, from the caravan when it's been um, vacuum packed. And all it is is the flaps at the side, which are velcroed, just um, claps down so it's flat. But it also just slip it up there like that and then you've got the flap just to conceal it and I say it's quite um, a hefty size this is the larger one I do have a smaller one which I'm also using upstairs for storage and when I don't want to use them I just clap some so I find them a very um, reasonable um, way to store pieces even if it's temporary um, I say I'm sorry I can't give you the price because I've had them so long I've got a sneaky feeling this is the large one, maybe I think it might be 9 or 12 99 and the smaller one about 8 99 But as I said, I think it's a really good thing, especially if you're doing what I'm doing, is sorting and organising. Right, so we're in the dining room, as I said, and I did originally have everything off the floor, and this is what I tend to do. As I said, it does actually... I say make it a little bit more tidier so we've got a granddaughter's toys there and the tub and chairs there and it just says because obviously very often things are coming out of the back door which is behind me or say front door so it's sort of in between but it just stores everything nicely so yeah, it's not all over the floor and in there I've got a Tasmo, I've got those bags that I'm going to carry on filling and then I've got a sack and extra carry bags there ready for stuff to go out. It just saves it from not having um, stuff all across, I say, my floor and just keeping it tidy. I say, one thing I'm aiming, which might be a bit silly because sometimes things have to get worse before they get better, but it's try not get into too much of a mess especially if I have one or two things on the go at the same time. Right, so I'm starting off with the first crate. And as I said, I think I covered a lot of this um, when I was showing you about um, how I store my Christmas gifts and everything. And I bought these crates. They were something ridiculous, like £1.33 per crate from Tesco's um, a fair few years ago. You can obviously get any of these crates or any similar boxes but what I like about these um, we originally used them when we were camping before we had our caravan but then I use them in the home the best thing about these crates as you probably know they do actually collapse flat so if you don't want to use them or um, the items have been used in it they just collapse down flat and saves um, space now in this one I have um, categorised things for um, Easter and Mother's Day, that's how I've done it and I'll show you what I mean. Mm. This category here is boxes, I've got a couple of these boxes that I bought after Mother's Day in the previous year, like this one, um, Mum a little just above Queen. And these were like reduced down to 50p so I've got that one and I've also got this one mum's treat tin so they are what I'm going to use I think for Mother's Day this year um, as I said I might be going back between Mother's Day and Easter depending on the items now this here is a, um, a little like tackle box and it's, well, they call it a compartment organiser. I got this from Poundland. 
and I've seen this before on Pinterest and that and it's got these little segment things that you can put in my idea is to put wrapped sweets and chocolates in here for um, a member of our family for Easter and then they've got the box to organize it to use for screws and um, nails and that sort of thing so that's what I'm going to do that I will actually only use although you don't have to but I'm gonna use um, sweets that obviously got wrappers on in there so that's what I'm going to do with that one as I said I want to try and find different ways to put chocolates and sweets in for Easter Talking about tins, this is something else. I actually got this from, it was, um, I don't know whether it says where it was from, but anyway, I got this from the charity shop for 49 pence, nothing wrong with it. And I thought this is something else I can put some um, little sweets in as well for Easter. Um, Easter I say a lot of this I will cover again when it comes close to Easter we were just saying when I was putting my um, food shop through from Iceland um, home delivery um, last week how they've got um, Easter pieces already in Easter chocolates Easter eggs and yes it is early but I say some pieces I've um, purchased in the sales and they just remind me of Easter, so I've kept them up. I'm talking about that. It's like these. I bought two of these, and these were from Primark, and they were what one pound fifty down to fifty pence. And it's the shell puff, and I thought for the females, it's rabbit, pink and girly, and it's something useful. So I got two of those. In the bottom here, I have actually got an Easter bucket that got missed, and I got it back after Easter. Um, there was that Tom in Poundland. I bought low end of these, these rabbits, and this is the last one I've got left, and they're so cute. Lovely to just place it in a basket with some other little treats. And I've used these a lot, and I've shown you that I've used a pack before. You can either split them. Yeah, they were originally £1.15, I think I paid something like 25 pence for them. So I can either put those together or split them up. And then I've got some more of these pencil crayons from Poundland. There's four packs there. Really ideal for children, especially if I can get a small like um, doodle pad or something or other pads to put in their Easter baskets. So I know I'm always thinking out the box and before the um, occasion comes. So by the time the occasion comes, very much like um, I have most pieces in place, except possibly for chocolate and sweets. I don't like to get those in too early because I'll be frightened they get eaten. Um, I've mentioned this. I'm not going to get this out. This is that two boxed um, again, Mother's Day or Easter. I've got a couple of the bags that I've got. Um, I've got two of these actually. I've got one for myself and one here, and I just keep those ready um, to transport any gifts. Something I got from Amazon is this and this is what I've kept up for Easter it's this vending machine and you just fill it up with sweets and I thought that would be great for our youngest son because it can go in the games room and he likes skittles and that sort of thing so that's what I got that back there as you probably can see is that um, unicorn canister got from Asta that I'm also going to use for sweets and then back here this is something else that just got missed um so i've kept that in there so i know where it is is i have got one of those jars i got from poundland these are not sweets these are just little mini eggs that i brought after easter and i've just put them in there as i said so it's all together and i know where it is and i've just got some um other bags here so for the rest of all, um, that I got There's the ribbons um, so I can um, pour sweets and that thing in I think it might be something so for the rest of it, I think it might be something that may have gotten missed last year that's all in there so I say most things are like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle to get um, you know stuff in but um, this is just the one box and I'll quickly show you 
um, the Christmas gift one that I've already shown actually previously, but has I'm talking about gifts and different occasions. If you've got the room and you've got a little bit of budget, it's a good idea to do it this way because as long as you're purchasing things that will be given, um, you will save money in the long run. So that is like Mother's Day and Easter. As I said, I'm going to use these. I might even put, um, you know, toiletries in them along with um, sweet treats. Right, this one I've actually shared before. This is like the um, Christmas pieces that I bought after the Christmas season. And um, this one actually goes on top of the other box because obviously the cushion. And this is from the cushions that I got from Primark. It was reduced down to £3 and it's the countdown one with the letters. So I've kept that up. So that's on top. Um, what I would do is probably put that in a bag on top so it doesn't get dusty. Now, a lot of this, I'm not going to take it all out because I've actually shared all this. And sorry for the rustle and um, so I can quickly um, just give you an overview of what I've got in here due to the fact I've already shared it so um, there's nothing too private in here anyway and I said there's um, things that I've got on the sale like the Call of Duty slippers fraction of the price and um, these baubles and I've tried again to do it by let me just tilt it down a little bit where it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but it's organised. It's like those um, boxes I've bought um, from Poundland, 50 pence each, the Christmas ones with the stag on. I've used them to store like the Christmas socks and Christmas baubles and, you know, little bits and pieces um, for Christmas for this year and little candles. So everything is sort of organised, um, but using every available space up, as you can see, and doing it in a way that things are not going to get damaged so I've got like the boxes of decorations here you know, I've got for a granddaughter and I've also got the Olaf ones that were a pound each um, so I like to give um, Christmas decorations you know, away at the Christmas season and sometimes I do that even um, rather than um, purchasing or giving them well, I shouldn't say purchase because I make my own Christmas cards but instead of giving them cards as I said um, I bought um, a few of those um, snow globes um, as well um, to give to people as I said and sometimes I think they'll appreciate that more let's face it Christmas cards are nice I didn't get so many this year um, as I presume a lot of people haven't and I don't know whether it's going a bit out of fashion I do send them through the post especially if I'm leaving a note inside or a letter or photographs of a granddaughter or whatever like that so um yeah but it's, sometimes it's nice to give um things like this um, especially if it's a certain um person you know that collects um a certain theme like this one this was reduced down to a pound i only managed to get the one i would have liked to got two one for myself and one for my granddaughter but i think this one i'm gonna hopefully keep up for a granddaughter so that's that. I do have um, a few more pieces to sort out because of the haul I did um, from Primark recently. So I've got a few more bits to add on, but it looks like I'm going to have to start another crate. So I'm not going to go into any more detail into that and what's in here due to the fact that I've already covered this one. Um, but as I said, it all goes in and back over there so if the whistle and then um that goes on top like so so that is one of the christmas crates as i said i'm going to be starting another one um for christmas right these are the three drawers that i keep in the plastic drawer um container that i keep in the um gift wardrobe so I'll show you roughly what I um, keep in and some of the items I'll tell you why I've kept them and so I'm going to move some of these out the way so I can do one at a time so I can concentrate on one right this one 
is like makeup bags and everything. I've got a couple of um, like perfume sets that I got from um, Poundland and there's some perfume there. And then these, um, I managed to get a few more. I paid full price before Christmas, but then from one below, they were reduced down to 50 pence. So I got a couple ready for this Christmas. Um, things like from Poundland. Some of these things I bought after um, the previous Christmas and didn't use this last Christmas. Just gone, if that makes sense. So I've got to make sure they use it this year. So I've got some emery boards there. Um, got some nails that I got from, I believe these must have been um, Primark. I'm sure they were, yeah, the looks of it, yeah. So these will re reduce from two and one pound down to 50 pence. And then I got a habit of keeping um, makeup bags or purses, especially Poundland have some quite reasonable ones. And the only reason I do that is if I'm going to give a set of toiletries or something and then that's quite nice so I am first of all going to start off with this one I got this from Poundland and I've kept hold of it because it was my idea to put some jewelry in it so I've kept hold of it so if I don't use it any time this year or Christmas this Christmas then that will go as a few pieces well I will donate them you know um somewhere or another so that is like a um a travel jewelry pouch which hopefully i will um put some jewelry in or something um this one i loved a bit i haven't seen any more of these these must have been poundland i'm sure they were but it's this pink like see-through plastic um, bag and I think that would make a nice um, girly gift even for Easter you know I was showing you those um, like rabbit pom-poms but I haven't seen any more of those now this one I got a while back from Amazon and it's like a wallet purse thing with the component um, with all the different um, compartments in so that um, hasn't been allocated yet then I've got one that says I love moustaches. This is another Amazon one that I got really reasonable. Believe in yourself. A um, couple of these I possibly bought for myself but haven't used them so I put them in my gift stash like this. I like anything with positive um, you know, quotes and that on. This is another, I've had a few of these actually but I prefer the mint green one. I have actually got one. Um, downstairs that I'm using in my cubby when I travel and I love the mint green ones and I think that make nice actually for Easter and then I've got a couple of pouches and I got this one I think this one was was it Tesco's yeah Tesco's it's actually a tablet case but I think it can do as a folder and they reduce them down to something like 25 50 pence so it's like a pouch thing but the um, inside is gorgeous as well, look at that. So I thought, well, I'll find some use for it. So I think that's about it on that one. Next one is stationery. Um, like, I love these pencils. Um, I keep buying these, these organizers, um, especially as they haven't got any dates in and got the to-do list and everything. Brilliant um, for goodness gifts. I have got another one in here, which is this one, which is a dream. And then an accessorize. Um, I think I shared this last year. Again, I didn't use them this Christmas, just gone. This is what I meant by they were 70% off. They didn't have that sort of percentage off when I last went in. And so that one was like pound fifty, and these were 90 pence each. So I think they're just pretty as well. And what else we've got in here? Oh yeah, and I'm always buying these, as I said. I'm always showing these um, from Poundland and that is the Work Home and Play Planner. I think these are brilliant and make a lovely gift. You give that with a pen or something and make some nice um, gifts, especially to get organised. Then I've just got some pads at the bottom there. 
Um, this one is actually a um, photo album in mint green. And I was originally going to put um, photographs of our granddaughter in that one, but um, I haven't used it, so I've left it in my gift stash at the time. This one I bought, two, was it two Christmases ago it would have been? Because I started YouTube um, over a year ago now. And before I did YouTube, I bought this, um, May Your Days Be Merry and Bright, because I was going to take photographs of my decor and put them in this book. Um, because I liked, I liked my Christmas decor, but I had no way, except for taking photographs, to actually, um, you know, get the memories sort of thing. But then I got onto um, Instagram, and of course there's going on looking on Pinterest and everything. So it's something that I didn't actually use. So I've kept it because it could also be a scrapbook for somebody. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that one has yet. But I've kept it in the gift one anyway. And the last one is a little bit of a hickety pickety mix match sort of thing. I'm not going to show you those couple of items because they've actually been allocated to somebody. But like these, I got, um, which is down the corner here, I got these for 50 pence each from Poundland after one of those sales. I must have been after Valentine's Day last year. And you've got the two bumblebees there and then you make me smile so you can put a photograph in those and I've got two of those so I want to try and make sure I actually use those this year and then from Tesco's I've got two of these actually is these I got these again um two Christmases ago or just after Christmas and these were about a pound they're either a pound or 50 pence each and I just think they are so beautiful another idea I had was to actually mount it on um, a candlestick so that one again to tell you the truth um, I was going to um, give them away with a little miniature um, you know like um, soap or something or little mini bubble baths you know the travel size in them I never did actually get round to it oh these are what I got through the post I think they were from a website that was closing down or something and I paid something like £10 Ten pound, ten pence each for them. They're really for the phone charm, but I thought you can put these on purses, bags, and you just thread it through. If you know what I mean? Or I can take it off the little cord and just use the little star. So I've got a few of those. I've got, I said, I've got two of those um, handle things, and then the same shop that was closing down. I bought I think some of these. And I'm hoping to use them this year, maybe Valentine's Day, is these metal hearts. Again, I can go on gifts. And something else that I, I've actually put in here, but really and truly it should go with the um, packaging side, is, I can find, um, oh, it's, it's in here, is these. And I got these from Tesco's, these ones. And what I've done is I had a whole roll of fairy wrapping paper. I think you know where this is going from. And I stuck that on the wrapping paper along with a tag. And it just makes the parcel or your gift a little bit special. So I've got those. Let's put those down there. I suppose really and truly they could go in my normal wrapping. And then a lot of these pieces you've seen. Uh, I kept these in here for stocking um, fillers um, for this Christmas. I've got those little um, mini um, dangles, um, the lip balms in there, that nail varnish thing, and that one there. So I've gone all through this. And then one item I didn't use this Christmas just gone was the um, dog earphones, which again was something from Primark. It was £2.50 down to a pound. So... 
a lot of the bits and pieces I have to make sure that are actually um, used this year so this is how I organize it and this actually stays pretty organized this way and um, what I tend to do also in that one where the station is is I put any DVDs that I've got or bought and I say a lot of the bits and pieces do go on my um, gift list especially the more larger more expensive gifts and then I have a separate page as I say for stocking stuffers that I write things like this down and if they're allocated so I can see what I've bought and who I've bought for so up the top there on that shelf I have got four crates um, two of them are actually covered over because I just unfortunately don't want to show what's in those um, crates due to the fact that you can understand this I don't wish to share all the gifts I've purchased due to the fact that they are for um, certain people but that one down there is the Easter and Mother's Day then the one above it is Christmas stuff so that's just how I organized it and I just got um, a Christmas Eve box up the top there and then that book in between the crates is my um, gift list where I write all the gifts on right moving down I'll try not jolt you I put you on the stand so it's not hopefully waving about I have got the bottom so down here is what used to be um, Christmas cards, well it still is, so I haven't used them in a number of years, really and truly I suppose I could get rid of them. Um, that's the larger cards, um, I know it might be a cheap but occasionally I've put one out because they, when we really did um, buy um, the bigger cards, we tend to stick with small ones now but sometimes I get them out and put them out because what's the point if I keep buying like husband and wife valentine's cards or something so I know it's a bit of a cheat we just alternate them I don't see the point in keep buying cards um, just to give to each other um, as you can see at the back there I have got um, the extra wrapping paper there is wrapping paper as I said in the big long box that I got from Wilco's that is actually under our bed and then I've got the fifth um, crate there that's got um, a lot of the stuff that I've shown previously plus it's got the um, snow globes of Elf in there and um, some Christmas bags and um, bits and pieces like that and then in that uh, material bag with just there that canvas that I did originally have if I can move you up a little bit that originally had um, the books and everything in it's just got a few odd um, pieces in like some extra mugs because I do like making mug gifts and as you can see below that crate I have actually got that three plastic drawer thing which actually fits in my wardrobe perfectly even with the doors and I still can close the door so it works out well so that's how I managed to store all my um, gifts and everything this is why we kept saying do I really need all this because that is one wardrobe like if we move them along it's really true the end wardrobe we could get rid of and make ourselves more room but I think um, it's a good use of space and then on the rail I've took them out. I do have a few um, jackets and coats just here. They will all go back. So I've wiped down the bottom of the wardrobe. I've had everything out. I've wiped over the top. So I'm just going to put these jackets and um, coats back. Um, there wasn't really that much I could get rid of. I got rid of a few pieces over the weekend out of here when I remembered I was going through them um, at Christmas time and everything and stuff that I hadn't used um, but I'm quite happy with um, having it all out reorganizing it rejiggling and just um, reviewing what I have so there I have my jackets I've got my um, leather jacket there I've got a thick cream fleece um, 
that I only wear at special occasions. I do have my black um, coat that I use when it's really um, snow weather, you know, really cold. I have two lilac um, coats, which really and truly I could get rid of one. And then I finished up with um, three jackets right at the end there. One's a lilac for the summer, that's the green one that I use. And then right at the end, I do have a black one that was new um, that I had for my son's wedding. So it's those sort of things that, yes, you don't wear them frequently. As you can probably notice, I wear that fleece jacket an awful lot. It was an expensive one. Hubby's got one as well. Um, that we got um, from one of the camping um, shops but they are comfortable they are thick it's just obviously you need coats and jackets for different occasions so I have got a question mark on a couple I must admit and one of them is one of those um, lilac -y jackets coats I'm not sure what to do about that so um, yes but it, it's not as though I haven't worn them in the last 12 months I have that is the thing so it's a bit of a question mark so I haven't really got any clothing out of there but I will possibly consider um, checking the Christmas cards at the bottom and I might actually um, get rid of those right it seems to be that we're back where we started this morning um, but um, I've just got a few bits that I've pulled out and one of the categories, it needn't be difficult. I think sometimes you make it more difficult um, than what it is. Now, the main reason I would say that sometimes these things, um, I put a bit of thought in, a bit of planning and everything, is because I don't work. So I have got the time to do this. Um, sometimes probably making more work for myself. And one of the subjects is actually CDs. Um, yes I'll go back to those and sort of say about those um, in a moment um, so um, not an awful lot today I have actually been um, busy that is the wind so I've got four magazines here that hubby I say got rid of um, we've got the cable I mentioned key ring and this stuff this is brilliant but this is now dried up I've got um, some coasters but they're all like marked and they're felt so I'm just gonna get rid of those um, before just before Christmas I think it was someone broke my um, water bottle that I use for sweets I've got two of these and one of them broke and I kept the lid thinking oh, maybe I can get something but useless and it's like the um jar ones um you know the drinking um glasses um we stop putting lids on them unless it's outside um because a lot of these sometimes especially the metal ones go rusty so i'm just getting rid of those and that's just a bit rubbish oh, about in a minute now these are what my testing strips come in and i've took the label off and I might take these to the community centre when I'm doing some organising because what I could do is stick, say, um, a button or, or an emblem or whatever it is, embellishment on the front, on the top here, and then fill them up. I don't know. I often used to carry one of these in my bag with pills in, um, you know, if I was going out for the day with medication in and things like that so I'm just getting rid of those now so that's I'm forever dropping things I'm tired <laughs> full things there and um, these also may be um, going to the charity I'll, I'll spit these words out in a minute the community centre is plastic containers now they haven't got lids I use these in drawers for organising things but I don't need them there um, non void now so I'm just going to get rid of them I think it's just because I'm tired now um, I said I've been doing the gifts wardrobe and um, just doing um, re revising some planning and I guess what it is and drain me is CDs now 
as if you've been watching my videos you know I've got all those shelves on the stairs most of it consists of DVDs but I have like one whole shelf and a bit of CDs now we don't very often play them very often um, very much now um, I must admit a lot of the time I just um, listen to it on YouTube or the radio or whatever or in the car even you know on the radio um, sometimes there might be the odd song but I'm trying to be strict on getting rid of them and I'm having a hard job so what I did today I quickly flicked through them and just pulled out ones <coughs> excuse me that I, I safely can get rid of um, so I've got one two three four five well actually that's a treble one but never mind five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so I've got 12 here. Now this is probably making more work. So I've pulled out 12 CDs. I say one of them is like three and one's a double. But let's count it as 12 anyway. The, the reason is, um, they're not, I wouldn't call them sentimental. I think it's just memories because I'm, I don't know, do they do it now? I got had got a lot of, um, number ones when you used to buy them on single CD and so some of those are you know got memories attached to them and I'm thinking well you can listen to it anyway you can you know listen it on your phone or whatever do you know what I mean so I don't know what the problem is but I think that's why it took a little while and I thought I've got a I've got to make a plan here so as I say I just went completely along the line and just picked out random ones and got rid of these ones that I separately could get rid of now I've got Cher I have got Belinda Carlisle Soft Cell Human League I could go on I've got a couple of Elvis ones although there is an Elvis one here yeah I've got an Elvis CD because I've got three or four of them and that but when do I ever play them? That's the trouble. I mean, yeah, um, doing the car, um, but obviously sometimes we take three or four with us if we're on a long trip or something. It's not as though um, it was like the times years ago, especially when we first got married, and, you know, after that, the years, you know, playing CDs in the car when we're on long journeys, you know, and whatever. Um, we're not at that stage anymore and to tell you the truth I don't tend to use them or listen to them much in the house although when I started going through them I thought I don't want to get rid of this one I don't want to get rid of that one but I haven't heard them in over a year so this is where I'm struggling um, at the moment I've got a small pile in my lounge whereby I am going on YouTube and just going through some of the um, albums or songs to see, you know, just briefly how attached I am to some of the CDs. I say, sit down, relax with my drink and just listen to the music. So far, the ones that I've pulled out that I think I'm comfortably going to get rid of, if that makes sense, I haven't put any of them back, which is mostly this pile. And so I'm going to continue. So there'll be another pile, hopefully, over the next few days. So that's what I might do sort of afternoon, evening, is go through a few CDs, maybe DVDs even, and see if I can pull some of those out in between doing other organisation. This is mostly, this bit is decluttering, getting rid of them. The other bit, like um, our bedroom, is reviewing as I say, um, yeah, a bit of decluttering, but reviewing what we have. So, yeah, so there's the CDs. As I said, I think they said there was 12. Didn't I? Yeah, at 12. I, I'm just tired and drained. I think I'm going to call it a day, actually, um, and have my bath, and then it'd be... The guys will be coming in, so they want dinner. So that's what it is. So that's 12. Before I make any more mistakes, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
I'm going to make this all, all this here. 17, 18, 19, and four magazines, 20. So I'll make that 20 items. So again, it doesn't look a lot because they're not big items this today anyway. As I said, look, but there's still some in my basket, which I'm happy about. Um, tomorrow being Tuesday, I'll make sure I try and start quite early and pull things out. Maybe every time I want to have a sit down or relax, I'll, I'll go through some CDs or whatever. But I just thought I'll quickly come on to finish this um, video. I was doing really well, but I saw I'm really drained now and uh, I can't, I'm having to difficulty in thinking I think and get my words all mixed up but there you are I'm sure people understand when you sort of get to that point you know um, tartness hits you and uh, you don't know what to do with yourself but I'm refrained from going to sleep I'm not gonna have a nap um, as I said I'm going to have a bath and um, hopefully I need to actually do a little bit of cleaning in the kitchen at least wipe the work I've wiped the work surfaces down but the the hob needs another wipe and things like that but I really wanted to get on with the gifts that I was doing that's what I planned today um, but I'm gonna call it a night and hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching <laughs> goodbye <laughs>